Thanks for joining us. There are new details on a series of bomb threats made to the Blair County Courthouse last night that prompted a two block radius to be evacuated. A Penn State bomb squad was called in to search the building, and a drug sniffing dog located a suspicious package in the basement. But police are now saying they don't believe it had anything to do with the threats. Maria Miller talked with authorities today and has the very latest tonight. Maria? Well, Maria and Jen, some would call it pandemonium last night, but the Hollidaysburg police chief describes it more as organized chaos. He says everyone worked well together last night and everything that needed to happen did. And he says any threat made was quickly cleared. I, I just realized what could have happened, you know. It is, it is a little scary. Eleanor Darris left her house and spent the night with family Wednesday. As police say, many of her neighbors that live within two blocks of the Blair County Courthouse were evacuated after several media outlets received threats of a bomb inside. It had something to do with a pending trial. And I'm almost positive they didn't mean for us to take any action last night. They wanted us to wait till, but that's not how things work. A Penn State bomb squad and drunk sniffing dogs were called in to search the building. But Holidaysburg Police Chief Jeff Kettner says the only thing they found was a package sent to the commissioners, a package that was supposed to be there. We found a box, okay, that had. Uh, that had CMR on it, and what that was is, is the commissioner's meeting room project. Okay, and it had some um, like microphones and stuff in there, and I'm not real sure what they're all doing with that, but there, there was uh, what they call prochloride, okay, which is from the chloride family, which uh, that's what the dog hit on. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the courthouse Thursday, it was business as usual. Need your belt then, too. Anyone that is not an, an employee is screened um, by our deputies at the front door of the courthouse. Um, it's, there's no exceptions to that. We're not doing anything new. We're taking the same cautions that we have always taken. Now, Chief Kettner says his department already has a team in place. They're trying to track down the sender of those threats, and he says he's confident they'll make an arrest. Now, he couldn't speculate on charges yet, but he said they'll be, quote, very serious. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.